Every pregnancy needs utmost care and attention. But certain pregnancies need a little extra attention. An RH negative mother carrying an RH positive baby is at increased risk of complications. BSV is at the forefront to ensure safe delivery in every RH negative pregnancy. Hello and welcome to the Outside View brought to you by Women's Creek Zone and presented by PSP, Puma, Food and Wellness, MI Hospital and APL Sports Foundation. We are previewing the match between India and Bangladesh and I have Marina Iqbal and Brittany Cooper to talk about uh, that game. Uh, India has to win this game, sort of to stay alive in the competition and make it through the semis. Bangladesh, on the other hand, don't have a lot of stakes involved. We already saw one team... We who were already disqualified spoil the party a little bit, little bit of the, the other side. Uh, Marina, do you see that happening uh, tomorrow as well? Well, uh, I think Bangladesh will challenge uh, India, uh, and if the surface is somewhat similar like what we witnessed today, I think uh, both the sides and especially the spinners would be rubbing their hands to just get the ball in their hand and uh, make it talk. But yes, both have decent spinners and it's more about uh, how the batting actually makes an impact because I feel Bangladesh relies heavily on rotational strike. They don't have those big hitters. Uh, that's one area where they can fall behind from India. India, on the other hand, they are sorted. They have got really good mature players who can build the innings and then some power hitters as well. Uh, so it's not going to be easy for Bangladesh. They have to be you know, uh, right on money with their bowling, their line and length, and also fielding from their side will play a huge role. Before I move to Brittany and ask her thoughts, I just would like to see the points table once, uh, just to see how India are placed at this point of time. They are at fourth right now, even after today's match, uh, but that could change very quickly with England uh, having their games against, I think, Bangladesh and uh, I guess they're playing another Pakistan. side, yeah. Pakistan, yeah, they're playing Pakistan, so uh, England could potentially win those matches and go ahead. Uh, Brittany, do you see a realistic chance for India heading into this and the next game against South Africa? <laughs> Well, for me, for West Indies to, to qualify, I need in India or England you know, to, to drop some points. So, uh, whether it be this game or the next game, I do need for West Indies to go to um, either teams to, to, to drop some points. But, um, you know, Bangladesh has been playing some really good cricket. Uh, as I said before, they haven't looked as a team that's in their first World Cup. I know, as we discussed um, earlier on the, the, the previous show, you know, it shows, I don't know, if given the opportunity to play cricket or to, to showcase the talent, you could show that, you know, outside of the, the, the top eight teams in the world, there yeah, are so much talented um, young cricketers around it. You look at the, the game against um, West Indies where Bangladesh should have won. Um, you look at the, that they beat the big... Um, Pakistan. So, uh, England, India will be uh, kind of similar to, to the, their liking in terms of you no know, um, condition wise. They they would like to would enjoy playing against India. Um, it will be very exciting to see how teams go forward. Looking at the game today, how the spinners were so um, instrumental in Pakistan. Um, Pakistan win against Western East. How how Bangladesh was set up their, their, their team to, to face India. Let's this one to Marina. Pakistan, against Pakistan, Bangladesh displayed some really good uh, spin bowling. Uh, do you think a similar kind of strategy could work on this pitch, having seen it play today against India? Well, I think, yes, it can. Uh, I mean, I like the way Nigar actually runs her troops. She likes to keep an attacking field and actually tries to push the batters to, you know, step out of their comfort zone and try to go aerial and play some false shots. Uh, so I think that that trick actually does help for Bangladesh because they don't have, you know, a lot of uh, pacey bowlers. They heavily rely on their spin. And uh, also, 
would like to you know contain the middle over especially and up top as well uh, i think with india yes if they can manage to grab quick early breakthroughs and then incorporate those spin into the middle overs with a very decent run rate they might uh, challenge india but on the other hand india has a really experienced batting lineup but there has been bit of troubles a uh, bit of scares for india as well uh, given the fact if there are early uh, breakthroughs we've seen uh, you know india getting to sort of that panic position so bangladesh needs to work a lot harder on the other hand uh, india obviously has a higher hand uh, but things might work if bangladesh comes up with a good plan and also executes it well before i move to britney with my next question i'll just uh... want to look at the head to head record between the two sides and i guess india has a good record against bangladesh uh four wins out of four games uh, bangladesh is a good odi side uh, make no mistake but uh, can they challenge india on a stage like this with india obviously they are in a must win situation so they will bring their a game as well pretty where how do you see bangladesh performing tomorrow For me, I won't even look at those um, matchup because four games don't um, say that you know Bangladesh is a bad team or Bangladesh cannot um, beat um, India. That's just to show that you know the lack of cricket that's been going on between the, the top teams and the, the lower ranked teams. So I don't think Bangladesh should be going into the setup looking at okay, we, we played India once and you know we haven't won any game. You know, it's a World Cup. um each game is like a a a new a, a new game or a new series or a new competition you you go in there and it just you know it just give it the all and um, back this been playing that that passionate cricket because you know they they come here to just showcase the talent and show uh pe- people you know the the kind of cricket and the play and I think that's one of the reason why they've been um I I was say performing well I I'm not even looking at you know how much losses they I I do believe they they are performing well because you no know, people think that you know Bangladesh would have been uh getting beat easily and stuff like that they have been performing well so because of the fact that you know they literally have nothing to lose and they are coming to just enjoy the the game of cricket and showcase their talent we just wa- love watching bangladesh play don't we uh, i would say that we are covering this game as well so we'll be back with a pre mid and post show of the game between india and bangladesh till uh, till then stay tuned to women's cricket zone for all the latest up- coverage and updates on women's cricket